sky and great spirit to honor women in creativity, to honor women in community, to honor women working in collaboration, and to honor the continuity of women inspiring other women. So many of us here today have lovely memories of our days in the women's building, of the relationships that were built of the art that was made, of the promises that were made. And we're here today to celebrate the beauty of that history, the beauty of our time together. I ask you to close your eyes in a private space and to take a deep breath and feel the beauty of that breeze today. And for a moment, make a silent prayer of gratitude of your own just for a moment, remember all of that beauty, all of that joy, all of that hard work, right? all of those commitments. And join us here as we gather in a circle to make this prayer real for the continuation of the legacy that is built by the women's building so long ago. Won't those of you who are on my west side come and join me on my east so that the circle will be complete? Won't you come and sit with us on this side? I know it's sunny. This will make the circle balanced. Take your time. Remember your prayer as you walk forward. Remember your, your intention to make this a good prayer and a great blessing for the beauty of today.
continue our ceremony by welcoming the spirits of the West to join us here in our prayer today. The West, and its symbol of the setting sun and the rising moon, the beauty of the Western nation, the Western gate, the ocean that lives so close nearby, the beauty of this sacred land that we stand on that belongs to the Indian people of this nation, and we're so you know, honored to stand here and do ceremony. And today, this direction is indicative of the place where the women's building is listed in the Western nation, and also Otis and the beauty of this celebration here in the Western world. So I invite my sister, Terry Wolverton, to come forward and say her prayer on behalf of the West. and where I could find community with others who shared the vision and the practice of creating the kinds of lives you dreamed about. The West is also the direction in which the dead journey, and I want to call the names of some of the women in our community who are no longer with us. Leah Linsky, Sheila Ruth, and Geraldine Hannon, all students within the FSW, the Feminist Studio Workshop, Sandra Galvin and Joan Hugo, who were members of our board of directors, and of course, one of our beloved founders, the art historian Arlene Raven. I pray they know their contributions are honored and they know that they're remembered in our hearts. And we say a ho and welcome to the spirits of the North to join us here in our prayer today as well. And the North is the blood of the people, the traditions and the ways of the people. It's the legacy of the people. And in today, we dedicate the North to the legacy of the women's building, to the sacrifices that were made, to the hard work that was accomplished, to all the commitment that was made by the women who made it a reality. And I welcome my very good friend and sister, Eloise klein Hill to come forward and say her prayer. remember what history looked like without us, and each silence specific to the absence of women's lives and work there. Let us look deeply today into the faces of our friends and sister artists of all kinds, remembering our sisters who left this world knowing that history is now bursting with what women made in their own hands, minds, words, and visions. This is the legacy of the women's building, the embodied truth that women changed everything, 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 who enjoy sacrifice, community, and outrageousness achieved what they came to this city to do change history, recreate the world. Blessed be, so we say, blessed be the makers.
we welcome the spirits of the East to join us here today as well. Additionally, the East is dedicated to the rising sun, and new beginnings, creativity and honesty and innocence. And today we offer this dedication, this direction, to the youth, to the students, to those coming up in this world, and offer it in a way that the women will remember their responsibility to the young people and helping them to meet tomorrow. And so I welcome my sister, Betty Ann Brown, to make this dedication. for the East. I speak for the rising sun, for the new day, for new beginnings. I speak for new life, for the children, and for the mothers who give them birth. I speak for new possibilities, new ways of being in the world, and especially today, for the new ways of being in the world forged in the struggles and joys of the Los Angeles Women's Building. It is with love and gratitude that I remember the many ways the women of the Women's Building cared for me and my baby son as I faced a new life as a single mother. It is with love and gratitude that I remember the many ways the women of the Women's Building supported my life my writing, my work as a teacher. And so it is with love and gratitude that I return their love, their care, and support, and I pay it forward to you and yours. Medieval mystic Meister Eckhart once said that if the only prayer you ever said was thank you, that would suffice. So I say thank you to the women of the Women's Building, to Linda and Terry and Eloise and Josefina, and to all of you gathered here in remembrance. Blessed be. South to join us in our prayers today as well. And the South is the place of the ancestors. It's the place of the, those that have gone to the other world as well. Those are teachers, the people who spend time with us, the women that shared with us so that we could grow. And so here we make a dedication in this circle for mentors and teachers. And my good friend and the mother and sister and my Esther, Josefina Gallardo, who present the Nancy dedicated to Mother Earth.
So once again, I ask you to close your eyes just for a moment. And remember our dedication to creativity, community, collaboration, and continuity. And make your dedication here and now, your dedication of gratitude for all of the gifts that you've received from the Women's Building and the women in your life. Say a moment, take a moment now to breathe in this air, this beautiful circle, this beautiful remembrance, and to dedicate your life. In the Native American circle, when we finish a prayer, we say, all my relations, and I'd like you to join with me to say the same, the stars, the planets, the baby crawlers, the four-legged, the two-legged, those that swim, those that fly, all of